Good morning, brothers and sisters. Well, staying on prophecy, but we're just going to deal with one prophetic thing this morning, and that's Damascus, because that is so significant to end times, isn't it? Nearly as significant as, well, as significant as 1948. So we're just going to look at it. <clears throat> but the scripture reference Damascus is in Isaiah 17. This message came to me concerning Damascus. Look, the city Damascus will disappear and become a heap of ruins. Okay, this is about to happen. Oh, well, it's nearly happened. The towns of Ur will be deserted. Flocks will graze in the streets and lie down undisturbed with no one to chase them away. The fortified towns of Israel will also be destroyed and the royal power of Damascus will end all that remains of Syria will share in the fate of Israel's departed glory, declares the Lord of heaven's armies. OK, that was in NLT. I read out of the NLT. I study in the King James. Don't worry, the translations are good. I study in a lot of things, actually. I don't just study in two Bibles. I just want to I just want to dispel the myths. People come on saying I'm pure as King James and King James does have its problems as well, by the way. But Strong's and Thea's and, and all the other things, we need them for study. But for, for reference of prophecy, just the outline of what's happening and what's being fulfilled, the, the versions we're using are good. But we're looking at uh, since the beginning of the war in Syria in 2011, each day that passes, more and more buildings are destroyed in Damascus and its many suburbs. So it's happening, right? This is so, this is so tribulation key starter. OK, this is what's going down. And it doesn't please me to say that it's knocking on the door. Now, we're looking at lots of other things. Um, we're looking at other people, other watchmen, which they're, they're gladly letting us do that. You know, we're sharing the dates and we know that by what everybody's saying, that tribulation is coming, is coming soon. You know, and it's my job to warn people and brothers and sisters, our job. Because the script, once we claim ourselves to take on the role of watchman in Ezekiel 33, 6. But if the watchman see the enemy coming and does not sound the alarm to warn the people, he is responsible for the captivity. They will die in their sins, but I will hold the watchman responsible for their deaths. That's why I show everything. Whether I like it or agree with it or not, I show it. We've showed Frank Saratellas, we've showed Roddy's last night, we showed Dana's, um, we've worked with Brenda because the, the one that I like um, is Brenda because she's quite simply just telling us what she sees and then if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I like that. And um, we're looking at a few others, Mike444, we've looked at Mike. And we'll look at every everyone that asks me to do to put their videos up. We'll do that. But that's that's because of Watchmen. I'm not necessarily agreeing with what I'm putting up, but I'm watching because you should know as much as possible what's going out. That's the job. My only job is to get the gospel out. That was the promise I made to the Lord. And that's one video I do daily, okay, which is this one. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you are saved. But keep these things in your heart, in your mind, in your heart, active, stoked up. When you call upon someone, call upon Jesus. Don't call upon someone else. Okay, <laughs> that's what I say. But that's gospel's got to go out one, once a day. Now, the other thing we're doing is Discord. You know, this is the only place I can send you for encouragement, discipleship, um, baptism, and anything, healing. The only place I can send you is Discord. Go to Discord. There is a lot of people in there now and a great admin team. We need to build them up and hold them up in prayer because they're busy people, um, consistently bringing people in and working with people in Christ. Uh, the crowns, the crowns are fantastic. I'll, I'll be honest, I can, there's no way that that could run without them. It's theirs. It's the admin and, and the moderators team. I just, I'm so grateful, you know, because my work of getting the gospel out every day is nothing in comparison to the hard work they do. But just going on to Damascus a bit more. The oldest inhabited city of the world is a war zone for the suburbs in 
unhabitable suburbs are unhabitable. A new survey has ranked Damascus as the least livable city in the world, running with observers attributing the reason for the ramps, rampant Securian militias and the ongoing crimes against civilised, especially, especially daily detention of civilians. It's, it's rife. I didn't realise it was that bad. Which is just fulfilling prophecy again, isn't it? So remember that one, that it is in Isaiah 17 is, is the most prominent place we discuss that. From Damascus, where we go with the, with the channel? Well, I don't know, where every day we learn what the Lord wants us to do. This is the most important one, the key gospel a message, you know, and why are we speak in the gospel? What's the channel about? It's to promote the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and advance the kingdom. And one thing that came to mind in my quiet time last night is that question yourself, what, why do I say things and why do I do things? That's the most important thing to me. The only thing I can do in this life is advance the kingdom. That is the Great Commission, to speak to the lost, to heal the sick, you know, um, to set the captives free, to unbind the brokenhearted. Um, you know, we've we've got to do these things. This is advancing the kingdom. So everything that comes out of my mouth, everything that comes out of my heart, is 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 it aimed at advancing the kingdom? And I know a lot of people who who are solidly aimed at advancing the kingdom. And it's fantastic. But that came in the quiet time. Before you start your day, examine the motives of behind where you're gonna run that day in the name of Jesus. Because you are a disciple. Once you've confessed with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you believe and you take him on and you start trusting him and you invite him into your life in the Holy Spirit, then you've become a disciple. You're on a dis discipline role, walk with the Holy Spirit to learn more and more and seek and find and do the work. That's, that's, that's the job. We're not here to do nothing. But he is, his yoke is light. So he will guide you. But we're looking every day. I've got maybe two, three videos to get out this afternoon. I will do my best to get them out. But hang on, brothers and sisters. Go over to Discord, link in the description, and I'll leave you with May God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you, and be gracious to you this day and always. God bless.